Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and Valorant's new Unreal Engine 5 update is now out and a lot of you guys are facing performance issues, FPS drops and some minor inconveniences. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC and improve your FPS in Valorant. Make sure to watch this video till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it is an overlay service using game bar would lead to performance issues. After that go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on works very well with games on Unreal Engine 5 so just turn this thing on and see if that gives you any performance improvements. After that click on the graphic settings over here and now you wanna have to enable optimizations for windowed games. Because Unreal Engine 5 mostly runs compatible with windowed borderless as well as full screen mode as well. So using this will help you to get rid of unwanted input delay. After that, click on advanced graphics settings and for the default high performance GPU, select your hardware based graphics. Make sure that your Valorant is not using your CPU based graphics and to do that, you have to click on the add desktop button over here, go to your local disk C, write games, Valorant, live and then you have to head over to shooter game, binaries, win64 and you'll find the Valorant win64 shipping.exe. Select add to add this game in this list, then you have to scroll all the way down and select your game. Then for the GPU preference, specific GPU that is your hardware based graphics. This will ensure that you are not using your CPU based graphics to render the game. Now to fix some common issues such as black screen issues, you guys can simply search for find the setting and then type in memory integrity. You'll find something called core isolation over here, simply search that and then you wanna have to disable that. Memory integrity turned off will help you to improve your FPS in many cases. Simply try doing that and once that is done, simply close it. Next step is fixing all of your ping, packet loss and performance issues using Gear Up Booster. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Once you open it, up you wanna have to click on the search button and to find Valorant over here simply select it. This has over 1000 games to choose from and right over here you guys can select the nearest region to you. For me that would be Singapore so I'll just simply do that and it will one click connect my PC straight to the game servers which will give me the lowest amount of ping. It actively keeps a track of your routing and ensure to minimize packet loss, ping issues and other connectivity issues. The best part about Gear Up Booster is the burger icon over here where you guys can go over to settings and then click on optimization settings to enable optimize RAM after boosting. This will ensure to free up your unutilized RAM and it will allot it for games to improve your FPS as well. I have personally used Gear Booster for myself and I have seen drastic improvements. And this is my personal suggestion to go check out Gear Booster for free from the link in the description below. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that simply search for Valorant on this list. Right click on your game and then click on open file location. Then you have to do the same step again, head over to open file location and now you would be in the right games folder. Head over to Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64 and then you wanna have to scroll down to find the Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe over here. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then you wanna have to click on compatibility and disable full screen optimizations. If you guys are facing freezing issues or micro stuttering, this will fix that. Then click on change high DPI settings and then you wanna have to select override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK and then click on OK again to close it. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and right over here you wanna have to select adjust for best performance or you guys can go with custom and turn on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will ensure the basic and minimal look of your windows intact while disabling every unwanted animations on your PC. This will fix a lot of your performance issues on the game but it won't certainly help you with the FPS. Next step is editing the game config files and for that press windows and R key together and then type in app data. Once you're over here head over to local and then you wanna have to click on these three dots over here then click on options. Click on the view button over here and then you wanna have to search for hidden files and folders. You have to click on show hidden files and folders and then click on the apply button. Close it and now you wanna have to press V on your keyboard to find Valorant. Double click to open up this folder head over to saved and then you have to find Find config. Select the file that is recently modified 
file over here that would be this file for me. Double click to open it up and then you wanna have to head over to windows client and then you'll find game user settings.ini. Right click on that and then head over to edit in notepad. Once you are in here you wanna have to scroll all the way down to find scalability groups over here and then set everything to zero. So. That would mean that your view distance quality would be zero and de-aliasing would be zero, shadow quality would be zero, global illumination quality should be zero, reflection quality should be zero, post-processing quality should also be zero, texture quality, effects quality, foliage quality, everything else over here should be set to zero. This will ensure that your game is running on the lowest graphics possible, which is absolutely our point to improve the FPS. Do not worry because higher graphics won't lead to any visibility improvements in the game as well. It is highly recommended by the pros to use the lowest settings possible over here as well. You also wanna have to search for something called audio quality level over here and set this thing to zero. If it is set to one, it might lead to performance issues and crashing issues if you have a low end PC. Set this thing to zero and see if that fixes it. Press Ctrl S to save this file and simply close it. Then you wanna have to right click on this file, head over to the properties and then select read only over here. Click on apply to ensure that the game would not be able to overwrite this file because your game can automatically change your settings in this file. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is msconfig and for that simply press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig over here. Simply open it up and you will be in system configuration. Head over to the boot section, click on advanced option and choose the number of processor. Select maximum number of processor over here and once that is done, click on the apply button. After that, you wanna have to head over to the services tab, select hide all Microsoft services and disable all kind of RGB, fan control services, browser update services, which you think that are running in the background and consuming your resources. Once that is done, you guys can simply press the apply button and simply close it. Next step is heading over to services.msc. Press windows and R key together and then type in services.msc and press enter on your keyboard. Once you're over here, you have to scroll all the way down until you find sys Main. If sysmain is running on your PC, head over to its properties and simply select stop over here. Sysmain is an automatic service which is consuming your CPU and RAM resources in the background. Simply stop this on your PC and once that is done for the startup type, set this thing to disabled. Once that is done, click on the apply button and ensure that sysmain is turned off. This will in many cases give you better performance on your PC and improve your FPS by up to 5 and 7%. But if in any case this is giving you any kind of performance issues, simply right click on that and revert all of these things again. Next step is disabling background apps and for that simply search for local group policy editor. Simply search for edit group policy and open it up. Ensure that this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. So if you guys are not a Windows Pro user, you guys can simply skip this step. Head over to administrative templates Windows components, app privacy, and right over here you'll find something called let Windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and ensure that this is set to enabled and this will enable the policy and then for default for all applications, set this into force deny. This will enable the policy to force deny all of the applications running in the background so your games can utilize maximum resources on your PC. Once that is done, simply close it. If all of that didn't help you to fix all kind of errors and you guys are still facing issues, try the next step. Simply search for create a restore point and press enter on your keyboard and select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because in the next step we're going to be changing some core settings of your PC. It is good to have a backup. Over here simply press close and close system properties. The next step is Valorant UE5 optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Double click to open it up and you'll find in six simple folders over here. These folders are designed to improve the performance of your hardware. Simply open up the first folder that is CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel folders. These folders contain priority D word values for your processor to improve its performance. If you guys have an AMD CPU, double click to apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, double click to apply the Intel CPU priority. Once that is done, head over to the second folder which is Valorant UE5 priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. Leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left the same thing as I have left for the CPU. Once again, you have to find the preset of your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this one. Simply double click to apply that and once again if you want to revert them back, 
head over to the reset to default registry over here. Fourth one is the most important one, which is power plan settings, because in many cases, using a wrong power plan might lead to performance issues. For that, simply right click and run this ultimate performance power plan over here, run it as administrator. This will run a PowerShell, which will add a new power plan into your list. To access that, double click on the power plan button and then click on show additional plans and select ultimate performance plan over here. This will disable all kind of power saving features on your hardware and it will help you to run the hardware on 100% throttle in many cases and help you get extra performance. This will also help you fix unwanted ping issues and stuttering and rubber banding. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is unwanted services in which I have left a few services which are running on your PC and in most cases you do not even use them. To disable that simply double click and apply every single one of them to disable them and if you use any Bluetooth or printer services leave them as it is. And once again if you want to revert them back head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Next is useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files you and I have to right click and run it as administrator. This will open up a command prompt in front of you, press enter and this will clean all of your temporary files in prefetch which is absolutely safe and I would recommend you guys to do it every now and then to ensure that your game runs on best performance. After that second one is MSI mode utility 3.0. This is a simple tool that we use to optimize the performance of our graphic card by changing the interrupt priority. Right click and run it as administrator. Once you are here select your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high and then click on the apply button. This will ensure that your graphic card can handle higher amounts of interrupts to ensure that you get better performance. Once that is done, press on the apply button and simply close it. Also close your FPS pack. Now the last and final thing that you guys can do is dropping into the game and following the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, head over to the settings button and then click on settings. Then you wanna have to come down to video and under the general settings, make sure that your display mode is set to full screen or windowed full screen. Then you wanna have to turn off all of these limits and then go down to graphics quality. If you have multi-threaded rendering option available, make sure to turn this thing on and all of the qualities should be set to low. There is actually no point of setting any of these quality above low because it is not giving you any form of competitive advantage. Then for vignette and vsync turn them off. Anti-aliasing you guys can go with MSAA 2x or none if you guys have a low end PC. For anisotropic filtering you guys can go anywhere from 2 to 16x. It doesn't really impact your FPS a lot. I personally prefer 2x or 4x because that works absolutely fine for me. And then all of these options underneath that is improved clarity, experimental sharpening, bloom, distortion and cast shadows should be turned off. Once that is done, click on close settings and now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video today. I hope I might have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. And we are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.